Hello, hello, hello everybody! Today I'm going to be making a new NPC. This is one of the scout NPCs from the intro. And um, I'm imagining he's going to sit right next to this fire or something like that. Maybe he broke his leg um, fall, like, in the crash or something like that. He's kind of stuck in this little area. So you're gonna, um, he's gonna ask you to bring him some food, and uh, you can like find food or something. Maybe you can find a fish somewhere, something like that. I don't know. Bring him some food, and he, he gives you uh, one of the armors from the game. So this um, NPC is what I'm doing today. So hope you enjoy watching this, and I'm just gonna get started and stuff. This is a yeah. This is today. Whatever today is. Okay, so we're gonna need an NPC tile. We're gonna need some fire in the middle, the bike. All right, so the bike, it was bike crash one. So we're gonna put the bike, uh, ooh, what's this all about? Hmm. Not sure if we're gonna need that. Salad Dongs, what's up? Total first. Wait a bit. What's up, man? How's it going? I don't know why I just did all that. Okay, because I want this to be in a specific place. Uh, in the very middle, we're going to have, uh, let's take away these R2s and stuff. Actually, we'll keep this bike crash tile, but put it maybe top right-ish. So W2 plus 4 maybe, and then H2 plus 4 as well, something like that. <clears throat> oh, there's sound. All right, great. There's sound. Good. It's been some time. Yeah, you, I haven't seen your name in a minute. How you been, man? What's up? Uh, in, the, in the very middle, we're going to have uh, some flames. So we'll have a fi like a fire. I think that's just K-Tile light. And then we're also going to have an NPC tile. <clears throat> He's sitting next to the fire, so maybe it's like W2 minus 2, H2 minus 1, and then K tile NPC. This should throw down just any kind of rent. Well, what NPC will this put down? Let's see. Let's make sure it puts down <clears throat> an NPC tile. Oh, here we go. Okay, so this is all set up for Z. So we're going to go pick. Pattern bike crash one is gonna be which NPC? We haven't created the NPC yet, but we'll put the bu the bunny or stash guy. Let's put stash guy for now. <laughs> Excuse me. You been good? You got a test? You been studying? Oh, the game's going amazing. Yeah, this is my dream game. It's all going in a dreamy way. <laughs> it really is. I love creating Songbringer. I love what I do. I love it so much. And it's amazing how well it's gone. <clears throat> okay, so that'll throw a stash guy in for now. Let's see what we got so far. Alright, so the bike crash is way up too high. I'd like to see something on the ground. If he's going to be sitting next to a fire, it needs to look more like a fire. Is it ever going to be finished? Yes, it's going to be finished. Will you release it but carry on working on it? Um. Actually, my plan so far is to make it as awesome as possible before I release it. So, um, if I do end up working on it further, it will be more of like a, uh, a DLC pack or something like that. But I, I don't know. I'm putting so much into this video game that I can see 
No, I can see releasing it and then starting on the next game actually is more, more what I would prefer to do. But it kind of depends, you know. Depends on how well of a, how much of a success this game is, you know. Yes, go hard, go home. Sure, man, totally. Right? You want a half-ass game? Go play. <laughs> go play all the other games out today. No, I'm joking. I'm I'm just joshing you. I'm jo I mean, I'm joshing all the other games out there. There's a lot of great games out today. But there are a lot of games today that are not very good quality. As like three or four of my latest purchases on Steam can attest to. It's like, game developers don't put... I don't know. I mean, I'm just complaining. But I've bought a lot of things on Steam lately that sucked. What's up, Rocket Bunny? How you doing? Okay, getting a little better. We want that. I want these spike crashed in a little bit tighter. So if we have a K tile light. And it's on the overworld. I think I should put something under it to make it look like it's like it's a proper fire. I got I think I got just the right texture already. Alright, man. Good night. Have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. That's pretty good. Okay, this is good. This is a good start. We got the fire. We got an, an NPC, we got the bike crash. I just gotta change this into the right NPC, create the, well, create the NPC. And uh, we need to make something look like some, I guess we do need some logs underneath that. Right? It's like any creative medium, mediocrity is common, which is by definition, right? Mediocrity is common. You have to take your finals this week? Oh man! Yeah, that NPC is great. I love that guy. He's a little too white now. He's, too, he's so white. I, I drew him before I had the bloom shader. So I gotta make him a little darker so he doesn't blare out so much. Okay, first thing, I wanna make this fire like have some logs under it. Let me crack it. Well, first let's do the code. What the heck is this? Which one is tile light? Just light. There it is. Oh, it's just light. Okay, we need to make this a smarter thing now. Oops. A auto entity. Auto entity. What the hell? Come on. Auto complete. There you go. Aren't data recovery people modern archaeologists? <laughs> I guess so. Are you writing a paper about that or something? Oh my gosh, I never thought about future archaeologists looking back at our data. That's crazy.
Okay, I need an entity for the logs now. I think I already have like a fire burn. Where would that be? Lightning, I think, does it. So you tried Xcode 8? Oh no. Oh dang, so none of the none of the old plugins work? Yeah. I sh I upgraded to Xcode 8. Um it is well I thought it was a little faster. Like they're they're claiming it's so much faster and all that, right? But I think it actually kind of is, like a tiny bit. When I do autocomplete, sometimes it is like super snappy, but other times it's just slow, like it was. Oh, here we go. Burn mark, lightning burn. So we'll call this image just lightning burn zero. That's it. Let's see if we got that lightning burn at least now. You're writing about the psychology of the people living through the Vietnam War. Wow. Wow. That's deep. The syntax lexer, yeah? Good, it does have that lightning burn. We want to scale it a little. You like the new font? Nice. I I I like I think I like the new font, but I missed the old font, so I switched back to the old font. I was like, I can't take it. I'm just not used to it yet. But is there something I'm wondering why they made that switch to that new font. I'm wondering if the new font is actually faster, like renders faster or something. Or maybe they just did it because they think it looks cleaner. It is a tiny bit cleaner looking. I'm kind of nervous to try Sierra. I don't know whether Sierra is just going to be horrible or what. Like, I don't want Siri. I don't want Siri as part of my OS. I disabled Spotlight a hell of a long time ago. How can you switch your Windows to a Mac? Well, you can run it in a virtual machine like VMware, or you can do a, a Hackintosh. There we go. Now we got some something that kind of resembles logs down there. But let's actually draw some logs now. So I'll take that lightning burn and I'll start with that. And then I'll put some logs underneath it and then we'll have a proper fire. Oh, you want it to just be a Mac? Then then your only option, I think, is a Hackintosh. This is such a weird thing. My mouse makes this weird clicking noise. It's distracting. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. Logs. We're drawing some logs for the campfire. Oh, it's only, yeah, only some hardware? That would make sense.
It's long, it's long, it's big, it's heavy as wood. It's long, it's long, it's better than bad, it's good. Mm, where did I put that lightning burn? It's probably in no shadow. No, I think if you can get a Hackintosh running, I think then all all programs would run. It's just the the trick is actually getting your OS to work. You know, it's because you're hacking it, man. You're totally hacking it. Yeah. Like Salad Dogs just said. What he said. Save as. No shadow. Logs. <laughs> Logs. Yeah, it's a tricky thing to make a Hackintosh, I think. But you should look it up if you're interested. Go look at some guides. I'm sure there's some guides out there. Really, the easiest thing to do is just to get a Mac. You know, buy, a, buy an old school, buy a really old, like... Here. Buy one of those, um, do they still have those, uh, the Mac cube things? What are those called? Yeah, G4. They're so, these are old though, man. These are not that expensive. Mac Mini, here we go, the Mac Mini. Dude, this is $79. You spent all your money. Dude, save up $80 and buy one of these. It's going to be way easier than building a Hackintosh. I mean, this is kind of old. It's a Power Mac and all that, but like, wait, this is a Power PC G4. Are the Power PCs? Was there a Mac Mini that was um? I guess it's the Core Two Duo. Yeah. Hey, check this out, Rocket Bunny, too. You can buy a brand new one for 500 bucks. That's not very much. And it's tiny, man. Look how tiny it is. It's pretty cute. But seriously, look at this. Not the Power PC ones. Where's the just the Mac Minis? Just want to search for Mac Mini. This is a, this is a, uh, this one's way too expensive. You can buy a brand new one for less than that. Here you go. Here you go. Look at this one. $167. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Get yourself a, get yourself an actual Mac. It'll be way easier. It doesn't have to be that expensive. Even even um you could buy you could probably buy like uh, other ones too like the Mac um not the MacBook but the Mac uh, I think it's just called the Mac <laughs> the Mac you could buy a a wait is it just called the Mac what are they, what the hell are the new does the regular Macs called I don't know it doesn't have to be that expensive man. It's long, it's long. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. 
iMac. That's it. Yeah, the iMac. <laughs> I couldn't think of the freaking name. There's so many freaking uh, Mac names. It's too many Mac names. How much RAM is good for Xcode? Gee, you need at least four, I would say. You can still you can still run um, Xcode with two gigs though, probably. But you probably want at least four gigs for today's stuff. I have eight gigs, and I've never ever ever used all eight gigabytes of RAM. Boogs, what's up, buddy? Boogie's like, you need 32 minimum. Yeah. Four gigs is probably the lowest. If you're gonna if you're gonna try and find a used Mac or something like that, so you could do development and stuff on it. Uh yeah, I would say at least four gigs. This one is like uh, I don't wanna show that. It's got my serial number on it. It's a bad thing to show on, on a Twitch stream, right? Boogie's like eight gigs. Oh, you're on Sierra. You don't have any complaints. Oh, that's really good news. Did you? What did you do about Siri? Is it annoying? Is she annoying? I have this fear that Siri is going to be annoying. Okay, so this is. Drawing some logs, drawing some logs. You know what? Let's draw the log part first. You haven't used Siri? But can you like just disable her? I don't want her even using any CPU. You tried it, but it doesn't respond when you hit the button. <laughs> That's so funny. It's log, it's log. Yeah, you can? Good. All right, good, good, good. My fears have been allayed. Thank you, Salad Dongs. Yeah, you disabled Cortana. All right. We don't need these things. We don't want these things. We are power users. We are smart people that don't need these. Don't want, don't need. There's like a log. <laughs> this is so great, we're drawing logs. <laughs> Gimmicks. Is it, what is, oh. Like why is that? Is this already on? No, okay. I was like, is Flux already dimming my screen? Are you dimming the screen? What am I working on? I'm working on this. I'm working on a new an NPC, a scout NPC. So finally, there's going to be an actual NPC at one of these bike crashes. Um, and this guy, he like breaks his leg or something like that. It's not going to be this guy. I just put the laughing guy for now. Um, but. He's gonna be sitting here by the fire. He's gonna, you're gonna talk to him. He's gonna be like, dude, I, I, I crashed. I broke my leg. Can you bring me some food? I'm hungry. And so you go, you, you find him some like fish or something, whatever, and you bring it back to him, and then he gives you uh, one of the armors. Uh huh. The new Mac has 500 gigs. The park, you want a park ranger? <laughs> Park Ranger. We don't need no scout NPC. Let's do the Park Ranger. That's a cool idea, though. Park Ranger. <laughs> yeah, good. Oh, good. Cool. Yeah, I'm glad you're enjoying these. I'm enjoying making them. And uh, 
I think eventually they'll be like, they'll be really fun to have to flesh out the whole overworld and make it all like feel really, really good. Oh, that guy looked like a park ranger. Dr. Robotnik. Who's Dr. Robotnik again? Ah, it does look like that guy. Oh, he's from Sonic. Oh, duh. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so there's one log. It's big, it's heavy as wood. Better than bad, it's good. <laughs> I know, right? I need to stop playing all these latest Steam games. I feel like I'm wasting my money on them. Go play some good classics. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Boogie, I think I'm going to take you out. You're, you're saying I should take one day a week and like play some games? I think I'll do that this week. One of these days this week, I'll play some. I'll play a game. But I might play like Axiom Verge or something like that. It's a, a new game. Or maybe I'll just play Zelda 1. I don't know. Learning and Game Maker is both good and bad. It's good because it's easy to code, but it gets you too used to oh oh. Oh, Rocket Bunny. You have some good insight here. That's acceptable. All right, yeah, this is good. It's like a modern day classic. Right? I'd say so. I think it's my favorite game of 2015. I finally played Ori in the Blind Forest. It's pretty good. Not as awesome as Axiom Verge in my opinion, but it's pretty good. There's nothing. There's nothing that click they can replace those. Nothing ever will. Oh, it's making C or C plus plus unintuitive for you. Oh man. Oh. Okay, this ought to be good for some logs. Logs! Logs not ping! Yeah, it doesn't hold. No, C or C plus, both C and C plus plus are not hand holding kind of languages. Not at all. Mm hmm. 
Yeah. I guess C++, yeah, yeah, you were just saying, it, you said it one way. C++ for me, it's like you can code without OOP, but yeah, it's a good way to put it. It's it's hard to ignore. Okay, so we got logs. Let's put these in here. Logs, scale, scale zero, scale one. Scale zero and one. This is a quantum computing. Okay, so now we should have a fire, some logs, a bike crash. Now the next thing is create this NPC. Okay, we just gotta align these logs, make them look right. Maybe make this background a little darker too. The syntax? Yeah, what is it about the syntax you don't like? All right, cool. Now we just got to go a little bit farther down. Hey, what's up, Kobarney? A little bit further. Good time of the day, nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's naming conventions? Huh. That's better, now we got some logs. It looks like a proper campfire now. Yes, all right, cool. Okay, next thing is to create the NPC. Um, let me... What did the... I gotta open up that one document. Um, oh, let's add these. Well, no. Let's open up that old document. What's that? Backgrounds. Xero Surface. These NPCs, here we go. I just want to make sure I'm not drawing anything. Okay, yeah, so I put one person with the blue skin or blue eyes, I'm not sure. We're on camping. Yeah, I'm, I'm very used to the syntax too. I, I can't really see it, whether it's vague or not. How are there different mains? Um, well, it's the same main, it's the same main function, Rocket Bunny, but on Windows, Mac, and Linux, you have different ways of kind of like initializing everything for getting things set up for your window and all that. Ah, that's true. I forgot about how that pointer syntax is a little messed up like that okay so this is um this is the girl i'm thinking that's either another girl or some weird looking dude they'll be do we'll do this guy he'll have like this colored eye and some that colored hair <laughs> and stuff do i have the right bike color is this the right bike <laughs> yes, weird looking dude. Okay, this is definitely the wrong colored bike. We need a different bike.
Okay, so we're getting the type a little bit weird here. Now that the patterns are correct, we can just get the type from the pattern. <laughs> I crashed, but I supposed to start a campfire. <laughs> and besides, I'm gonna I think I'm gonna make it so he has a he breaks his leg and that's why he's kind of stuck in that area. So I'm thinking like how does he how does he create a campfire with broken legs? Sometimes it's fun to just leave things like that. All right, so if pattern equals K pattern, bike crash. He, has to cr he crawled, he found the logs by crawling. He found some flint. He's an amazing crawler. He's the best crawler in his, in his class. Campfire was already there. There you go. It's cool. You use Chromebooks. Nice. You found an emulator. <laughs> it's good that you chose to crash there. Oh, uh, I love you guys. You're so funny. This is why. This is why I stream. This is why I stream right here. The, it's for the laughs like this that you guys provide so eloquently. Serving it up on a dish. Oh, now we got an empty invisible bike. Invisible bike crash. Maybe that's zero. <laughs> this place seems like a nice... Seems like a nice place. Crash my bike right here. What the hell? Okay, I gotta get this straight. What did I... What? What? Oh, for real? There's bike crash, then there's bike crash two, three, and four. Give me a break. That's all, or that's really organized. So which one's gold? I want the gold one, the gold bike. Hey, that's the gold one. Yes. All right, we found it. Perfect. Done. Almost. Almost done. All right, <laughs> we gotta draw this guy now. Draw him sitting by the campfire. <laughs> Maybe he didn't break his leg. That would explain a lot. That's how. That's how he. How he made the fire. He actually had a leg to do it with. All right, so we'll draw him. Draw this guy. This, this guy. Uh, let's start with another NPC. <laughs> Donald Trump or Clinton? Oh my God. Do you have to ask? Really, if I think if Trump gets elected, we're in for a world of hurt, personally. It's not that I really favor either of them. It's not really that I think the president's actually... Ah, uh, you know what I mean? It's like the, the power in our country is not in the president. The power is in the dollars. Power is in, in like, in basically in corporations and people that have tons and tons of money that spend tons of money on lobbying. They're the ones that create the policies. Presidents are basically elected because they wanted them to. 
I don't know. Not backgrounds. We want um, shadow, I guess. What was this guy's name? Stash guy? Let's start with Stash guy. He's not here. Where is he? Where did I put Stash guy? There's Bunny. Which one's Stash Guy? Seeds? Really? <laughs> or not? Oh, Stash Guy's called Dude with Mustache. That's why I couldn't find him. Dude with Mustache? Cool. This is a good little prototype, template, blueprint. Dude mustache. We're gonna call this um Scout. Scout one. I don't know what to name this guy yet. Alaska! Cool! Yes, he does words. He was just he was just taking a crap. You know? All right, stash guy. I mean, scout one. What's the difference between Unix and what Windows uses? So much. <laughs> what is made by Microsoft and what is it? Uh, it's just the un it's the underlying OS. I think is what he means. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Save the skin tone. This might be nice. This might be helpful. And let's grab these colors from this. What makes Unix so powerful? Is it more efficient with memory? <laughs> Boogie, Boogie's gonna fight you on this one. What makes Unix so powerful is that it's built from the ground up with very the the it's its philosophy. What makes Unix so powerful is its philosophy. Its philosophy is to build very small components that do things really, really well. Everything about Unix is meant to be really well. They're supposed to pipe, you know, pipey commands together is so awesome. You know, everything about Unix is... It's hard to describe, man. What's up, chicken lover? Chicken lover, how much do you love chicken, man? This color looks 
looks like a nice one to use. And this might be nice full for the hair. And this looks like his clothes color. He's wearing lavender. All right. Yeah. Yeah. They're both powerful, right? They both have their faults, their weaknesses. <laughs> I got, that's a good question. It's a good question. Why isn't the power shell the shell? There's the power shell. Now they got the Unix shell. I did, tr I did try the Unix shell. I actually, you know what? I love windows for, um, I think Visual Studio is really cool, and I love that I can play games on it. Burp, derp, derp. Burp, 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 burp. It's funny drawing things at first, making them look really ugly and just laughing. Ha 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 ha, this is looking stupid. But let's see if he's about the right size, eh? Proportions, proportions, always the first thing. <laughs> this guy looks so funny. Uh, it'd be cool to get, make your own OS? Totally would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a Unix shell in Windows, yeah. The Win Windows 10 has a new thing where you can install Ubuntu on Linux. Um, I tried it. It didn't really work that well. But maybe it works better now. I don't know. if Maybe it's just awesome now. This guy looks so funny. Uh, he's got one zero. All right, get this data all set up here. Start with Stash Guy's profile here. We got Sanic, Stash Guy, George the Turtle, Pizza Guy, Rock Face. Just got one. Gonna need to create a profile eventually, but for now, let's be scout one zero and all that. And then delay, yeah. Collision neutral size, yeah, about that. It's reflection shadow name. Cool. He's even got a dialogue component. All right, now we can go and create him. <laughs> yeah yeah they, oh so, yeah it's called like ubuntu on windows or something yeah i think that's their intention and i think it does it does kind of work but there's a few things that kind of don't work for sure i know that i've well when i tried it some of the most basic things didn't work. Like, but I guess I did try something that's kind of like difficult, I guess for, I just did, I did the same link and it didn't really work. Yeah, yeah, it'll be, it'll be all command line stuff, but it'd be really nice for people that have a Unix background or a Linux background.
Ai, <risos> Ah, ele looks funny. He's like a little fat dude. Ah, da, da, da. But he's way too bright. The bright, the bright, like um. Yeah, the brightness is killing it. How did he get like over there? You just um Rocket Bunny look up the directions online. Just go just look for how to how to do Ubuntu on Windows 10. And there's like a just a checkbox. It's really really easy. You just go into some of your Windows settings and then check this one box and and it just installs. Position 0 negative maybe like negative 4. Okay, let's start making him look cool too. He's a Buddha. PowerShell's open source? I never knew that. Whoa. Yeah, there you go. Bash on wind on Ubuntu. It is it is open source. Whoa. Wow. It's cross-platform too. <laughs> it's just bash on Windows. Sounds boring. Uh -huh. Old school command, not PowerShell. All right, so this lavender palette is it's killing it, it's way too bright. It says you have to be 14. Just just lie. Just say you're 14.
You're 14 in my eyes, man. Yeah. I heard PowerShell's pretty powerful. I saw this one guy like do a video on YouTube about PowerShell and he did some sweet stuff. He made everything like all his commands change and stuff. Yeah. Giving bad advice, yes. <laughs> you have to be 14 years old to get Ubuntu on Windows? That's ridiculous. Okay, we don't want enemies on the screen. What flag number is this? Yeah, what what is the reason behind this? What? 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 It's just Ubuntu. It's like a command line in interface. <laughs> <They're tired. laughs> uh. They don't. They don't think you can handle it. Dang. Rocket Bunny, the door has been closed on Rocket Bunny. No bash on Windows for you. Okay, this is this is end number three. Flag number three. Oh. Ba -ba 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 three. Ba -ba 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 three. Uh, so foes, we're gonna create a pattern for an empty um just basically an empty pattern here. This is bike crash one. Wait, did I put these patterns up? Let me check. Constants. Yeah, totally. By crash one. Done. There we go. So that will create a foe entry so that it doesn't create any foes on the screen. Voice of Grog, what's up? <laughs> but you can't right after? Yo, you didn't even know PowerShell was there? <laughs> you like it? You like it, huh? There we go, no foes. We got this dude sitting here. Let's make him look cooler now. He's got a, he's got kind of like a bohemian hat on. I wanna change his skin tone, skin color, I mean. Skin hue. You survived the hurricane? Oh my god, I forgot about the hurricane, dude. Oh, did you, was it all right? You just got your internet back? What happened? Is your town okay? Are you okay? Is your family okay? PowerShell is harder to type than command. <laughs> Matthew, is that what this guy's name should be? Uh, 
Okay, I'm thinking maybe he has blue skin or red skin. What's this? Is his eye color is pink. So what is this? If I take this hue, this is 296. When I add 30, it'll be 326. So 30 more, we got 356. 30 more, we would have 26. It's too orange. Let's just go with six. It's still kind of too orange. Oh, Hurricane Matthew. Oh, right, right. Yeah. You got lucky with the house. Your downtown area is white. Oh, man. Oh, dude. The whole city banded together and is helping out. Wow. That's awesome. Man, that is some serious stuff. I don't know, like I don't really like that red color. The Twitch Prime? What is that? Ah. Playing around with colors, lots of colors, uh-huh. This color and that color do not, do not match. They clash. Whoa. So much brighter than I thought it would look.
colors. Cook colors. Test yours. Do you like his chains? I hope this looks good in the game. Is being a perfectionist good for making pixel art? I would say so. Yeah. Garfunkel, uh -huh. doesn't you doesn't use auto tune, doesn't need it. I have no idea why I'm drawing him this way or why this character is becoming like this, but I'm liking it. It's like add a little shading, start making this look better. It's definitely giving him character, that's for sure. Coach Z! Can I borrow some detergent from the uh, Hey, wait, look, it's the rapping man. Can't this be the plan I was supposed to ask, can you record on my new album? I can understand well, that's a yes. It is one, two, go rap song. Coach C is so awesome. Oh, I gotta, I gotta give this some real attention. I gotta give this some real attention, man. Later on. Do do ba do ba do ba do boo.
Bah! I'll just open it on here. In another window. Copy. No. Open browser. There we go. Now I got it in my browser. I'll check that out later. So maybe he's like stoking the fire a little bit. So he can sit a little closer to it. <laughs> we need an emoticon. <laughs> Both signifies congratulations to winner and personal disappointment. <laughs> uh. Right? We need some emoticons to really express how, how we really feel. Oh, that's a little too close. Is he making s'mores? What's he doing? So like he could have this like stick. S'mores! <laughs> right? Why else would you build a campfire? It's making s'mores and burning down forests. Uh, I think his name's gonna be Chester. Chester seems like a pretty good name. Or Lester?
All right, start animating. So I'm gonna make him so he starts leaning forward. And using his stick to like poke at the fire. Okay, see how we're going. So he's close enough to the fire. Start giving some dialogue. Ah, <laughs> oh, so great. I love it when people start coming to life. <laughs> cool, let's make him start talking. All right, he needs a
Right? It's awesome. When he starts like coming to life and just seeing seeing one little animation sometimes is so satisfying. This is one of those cases. Coco's 2DX on a scale of 1 to 10? Well, it's kind of like relative, right? It depends on whatever your purpose is, what you're trying to create and all that. But for me, in this game, I would give it... I mean, it fulfills all my needs, so I guess I would give it like a really high score. But I, would, I do wish it could be better, right? Like, I wish it was less bloated. There's so much stuff in Coco's 2DX I don't need at all. And it basically just slows me down... Because every time I link my game, it has to go throw out a whole bunch of stuff it doesn't need. Um, so, I give it like a 7 out of 10. Something like that. Yeah, I know, right? I should. I should make a minified version.
Let's see if we got some dialogue now. Let's see what it sounds like. Too. What's it sound like? Whoops. Skipped a line there. This is crazy hard. Is it? Wait, wait. Let's stretch this out a little bit. One, two, three. We gotta make them near too. So I'm gonna make a, add a little um, criteria here. You have to be near scout one. Is that, how, is that how near works? Yeah, it is. All right, good morning. See ya. That works. I guess that's that's a good start. It's kind of what I want here. So you basically you go find him some food. Oh, this should be hurting you. You gotta make some kind of hurting entity here. Um. So yeah, you find him some food. You bring it back, and then he he's like, "Yo, while you were gone, I found this," and he gives you um one of the armors, something that protects you from, I'm not sure, maybe acid or fire or ice or something. Let's we'll see what it looks like when you come from um, a different screen just to make sure that near criteria works. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, yeah, I guess that's it. Yeah. I guess it's a really good start to this uh, NPC. And um, I'll refine this and make this into a little quest and stuff. But that's it. That's basically it for today's stream. So, yeah. Nice. New NPC. Right on. There'll be a few more of these little NPCs kind of sp sprinkled throughout the overworld. I'm not sure what, who, which NPCs or whatever, but um, I'll create a few of those.
little ways so you can earn items and stuff like that. And maybe like maybe to make this guy even better, I can make him so he has a few more animations. And maybe he can like lay down, like at nighttime he can be sleeping or something. But he's always just chilling here. He just loves the fire, I guess. So alright, so that's it for today's stream. And um, I'm not sure what else I'll do tonight with this guy, but yeah. What I was just mentioning, so. Yep. Have a good one, everybody. Thanks for watching. And uh, catch you all next time.